everybody. Uh, I thought we'd do some problems solving for power, right? Power using the power equation. Uh, what's funny, or maybe not funny, but interesting, is sometimes people look at problems that ask them to solve for power, and they don't really understand what they're solving for. Uh, you're basically being asked to solve one of two things. You're being asked to solve for the power consumed by something, how much power something is using up, or power supplied, how much power something is, is giving off. Um, let's take a look at a resistor. Now, a resistor is not going to give you any power. It's going to be using it. It's going to be consumed or absorbed by it. If we know the voltage across this resistor, let's say 1 volt, and we know the current running through that resistor because we measured or were told in a problem. In this case, let's say the current is 2 amps. We can calculate how much power is being absorbed by that resistor. So we're going to use our power equation. P equals V, in this case 1, volt times I, in this case 2 amps. And that gives us 2 watts, because that's the unit for power. Now, what if we don't have one of these two variables? What if we don't have V or if we don't have I? So for instance, let's take a look at this circuit. I'm going to just drop a little bit differently just to give you a different perspective on it. So another resistor, and we know the resistance. We know the resistor is a 2K ohm resistor, but we don't know the current flowing through it. Instead, we only have the voltage drop. Let's say the voltage is 1 volt across that resistor. Well, if we only have V and we have R, how can we solve for power? Remember, P equals VI. And we know from Ohm's law, V equals IR, that we can convert that guy. So V equals V over R using Ohm's law. Can you guys see that? All right, let me just put it out here just so you can see it. V equals IR. So we're going to solve for I, right? Isolate I on one side, so V divided by R equals I. So that's what we did there. Well, now we have a different equation for power. V squared divided by R, which is an equation you can memorize, I guess, if you wanted to. Or you could just remember V equals I, uh, P equals V times I, and just, just don't forget Ohm's law, which is a good thing not to forget. So now with our new equation for power, we can solve for the power consumed by that resistor. V, as we know, is 1 volt squared, divided by R, which in our case is 2K, or 2,000. And that equals 0 0.00. I think we're running out of space. Let's move it over a tiny bit. 0, 5. And again, we're dealing with watts since it's power. OK, now let's go ahead and simplify that to 0 0.5 milliwatts, right? One, two, three, so milliwatts. And there is our answer. That's the power consumed by that resistor. Let's take a look at a resistor again. And let's say we know the current this time. We know that the current going through that resistor is 0 0.1 milliamp. And this time we don't know the voltage across the resistor. Instead, let's say we know just. Okay, so uh, you actually just experienced a jump cut. My power ran out and I had to replenish. But as I was saying, let's say we know the resistance equals 3 kilo ohms. Uh, and we want to figure out how much power is consumed by this resistor. Uh, power. <laughs> so how do we do that? Again, we know that P equals voltage times current, the voltage across the sky times the current that goes through it. But as we notice, there's no voltage given. We only have R. Well, we know Ohm's law, and we know that V equals IR. So replace V with I times R times I. And what you have is I squared R. And that's another popular uh, form of the power equation. 
Remembering that the power consumed by something is the current squared passing through it times its resistance. And now we can place in these values in our equation. So the current is 0 0.1, again, milli, don't forget, milliamps squared times the resistance of that resistor, which is 3 kilo ohm. And then just do some math. Plug this into your calculator, and you have 0 0.0000040, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 3 watts. Don't forget, watts is the unit for power. And let's go ahead and simplify this. 1, 2, 3 gives us 0 0.03 milliwatt. And there is our power consumed by that resistor. Now another problem we can take a look at is power supplied by something. So let's use a clean sheet of paper. So let's say we have a power supply and it's going to go into some circuit. Now I'm just going to make something up here. It doesn't really matter so much. Okay, if we know what the voltage is across this guy or the, the voltage of our power supply, and we measure the current going out of the power supply, so we know the current it's feeding into the rest of our system is a certain value, let's say 0 0.7 milliamps. We can calculate how much power this guy is supplying to the rest of the circuit. Right, so here is our power equation, P equals V times I. Can you see how to solve that? V, which is our 5 volts, times I, which is our 0 0.7 milli, equals 0 0.0035 watts. Okay, don't forget the milli, 10 to the minus 3. And we can rewrite this in terms of milliwatts as 3.5 milliwatts. So that's the amount of power this guy is supplying to the rest of the circuit. It's a 5 volt power supply, so we know it's a 5 volt across there, 5 volt power supply. And it, has, uh, it is giving out a current of 0 0.7 milliamps. So whatever load this is, load is uh, the thing that's using power. Whatever load is, uh, total uh, current being consumed by the load is 0 0.7 milliamps. So that's how much current this guy is supply and then use our power equation and then this tells you the power supplied by our source.